A dragon lives in my house. No one would believe me if I told them, but it's true. Dragons sleep most of the time, but you never know when they'll wake up. You can't relax, not even for a second. If you have a dragon in your house, you need to be good at hiding. I'm a really good hider. You need to figure things out for yourself because you're not supposed to talk about dragons. Not with anyone. At first, I tried to do everything right. I tried to be so quiet. I tried to be perfect. I thought maybe if I didn't mess up, if I made myself so small, even made myself disappear, the dragon wouldn't hear me. Maybe he wouldn't even wake up at all. But no matter how quiet, how small I tried to be, the dragon would always hear me and he would always wake up. Being quiet didn't work, so I got loud. Pretending I wasn't scared. Pretending I was just as tough as any dragon. But pretending is just pretending. Nothing worked. Nothing could make it stop. That's when I realized it must be something wrong with me that dragons hate. When dragons wake up, they're angry. They want to hurt. Sometimes it leaves a mark. Sometimes Sometimes it's a hurt you can't see, that you don't even have words for. Those are the worst of all. Sometimes I wish I was a dragon. I let out all the things that hurt. All the things that don't make sense. I'd burn down everyone, burn down everything. But I'm not a dragon. I'm a little girl. And I'm all alone. I don't remember what they said when they came. I just remember thinking, when something's broken, when you can't fix it anymore, when it's no use to anyone, you throw it away. If you've never fought a dragon, then you wouldn't understand. You can't just leave. You can't just run. A dragon will always find you. A dragon will always hurt you. And the more a dragon wants you, the less anyone else will. New faces, new places, new dragons to watch out for.
<laughs> they wouldn't listen even if I could tell them. I know it's true, because they never ask. Of all the things I tried, nothing helped me stop the dragons. Not even a little bit. But maybe the most important thing in fighting dragons is not doing it all by yourself. Maybe you need someone to help you through all the confusing things. The things that might seem scary at first but can actually help you get far, far away from any dragons. Someone who sticks up for you, even when you're not there. Someone who knows where you came from and what you've been through. Someone who's on your side, not just when things are easy, but when they're hard too. Maybe you'll see that dragons aren't waiting for you around every corner. Maybe they don't live in every house. Maybe it's not even your fault they're so angry. Maybe you can stop hiding. Maybe you don't have to be perfect. You don't have to make yourself small. You don't have to always be ready to fight. Because there will always be dragons. But there will always be brave heroes too. <laughs>